Hello, my name is Cyrus Nilchan, and today I will show you how to protect SAP HANA with Tivoli Storage Manager. First, I bring up SAP HANA Studio, which you can see here. And within SAP HANA Studio, there is a backup tab. That backup tab provides an overview so you can actually see that there is no backup currently running. We can see when the last backup took place. And we can also see that the backup is being, um, being configured using the parameters here. So we can define a default uh, destination. Um, we can also enable log backups. Log backups are automatically, periodically taken to TSM. And we can select up here where we want the backup to go to. So we could select file as a destination. It will then do a backup to disk. And we can choose back end. I would like to use back end, which is the interface to Tivoli Storage Manager. I am using Tivoli Storage Manager for ERP version 6.4.1, which is the latest version at the time of the recording. Another tab is the backup catalog. From here, I can actually see old backups. I can see when they were taken, and I will also be able to see the new backup that we'll put in there uh, in a second from now. Kicking off a backup is real easy. I just do a right mouse click on backup, and I get this nice backup uh, wizard. Um, it allows me yet again to specify backup settings. So I am choosing backend as the destination, which is Tivoli Storage Manager in my case. I click on next. I can see some system information and I can also see the backup definition. And all I have to do now is click on finish and my backup is running right now and it will back up my SAP HANA system. SAP HANA is a clustered system that typically runs on multiple nodes in a cluster. However, the backup is just triggered from here and it will know about all the nodes in the cluster and it will then just simply get data from all the nodes and send them together to the uh, Tivoli Storage Manager. It actually opens one session per SAP HANA node in the cluster. So it's a multi-session type backup. And uh, it can leverage um, compression as well as um, data deduplication, which is also a configurable option. I can switch from the backup catalog tab to the overview tab and here I can see the progress of my currently running backup and we can see that we have a fairly small instance of SAP HANA here and we can monitor the progress of the currently running backup. We can also drill down into the details. Here we can see that TSM for ERP automatically connected to the index server, the statistics server, and the name server. So basically the complete SAP HANA environment and is backing up data from all the nodes in the environment. Okay, the backup's finished now. And I can go to the backup catalog. And now I see a new backup. And I can see when it was started. And I can also see the duration, four minutes in my case, and the size. Keep in mind this is the complete SAP HANA environment and it was controlled from here from a single point of control. Also, we did not use temporary disk space for backing up SAP HANA. So we basically have received the data from SAP HANA directly through the memory and we have send the data over to a TSM server. 
So there is no intermediate disk space anymore required. We go directly through streamed data from all nodes in the SAP HANA cluster directly into the Tivoli Storage Manager server. Okay, now let's take a look at the recovery options. The recovery options are as simple as the backup options. They're also driven from SAP HANA Studio. So I can simply perform a right mouse click on the actual SAP HANA system. And from here I can call the recover wizard. Of course, the system is currently running, so I have to shut down the system first in order to run a recovery. And SAP HANA Studio is doing that for me. You can look at some details here. And now it offers me two options. So I can recover the database to its most recent state or I can actually pick a point in time to which I would like to restore this database, or I can recover the database to a specific data point, to a specific backup at a specific point in time. In fact, what's happening here is the full backup is being recovered from TSM and then the logs, which are also automatically backed up to TSM, are being pulled and they're being rolled forward to whatever is chosen here. So I am going to choose recover the database to its most recent state. Okay, so it automatically finds all the backups. So it basically keeps its own backup catalog. And I can now choose from which backup I would like to recover. I'm just choosing the last one I did. And I can also specify the log directory. And I just click finish and SAP HANA Studio will now take me through a system recovery. Okay, so I can see that the um, SAP HANA recovery has completed successfully, and now SAP HANA is back so I am able to simply start the recovered instance of SAP HANA. Again, right from here, from SAP HANA Studio. Okay, the system is back online now. That was a full recovery of a SAP HANA system. And you have just witnessed how easy it is to protect SAP HANA with Tivoli Storage Manager. Totally integrated, seamless backup and recovery of all nodes in a SAP HANA cluster. Thank you very much for your attention.